Switching gears again, fire has always been a part of Yellowstone National Park, but how fire is managed has changed. High-tech weather computers, satellite imagery, and aircrafts are now used today to monitor fires in the park. When the park was young, however, locating fire in the park was taken care of by crews and fire towers. We recently got an exclusive look at the history of tools on the mountaintops. In the days before satellite and aircraft, the tops of mountains were the best way to see what was happening in Yellowstone. With a park covering two million acres, that requires the tops of a few mountains. But they had uh, proposed 16 lookouts throughout the park to be able to really have a good understanding of the entire landscape. Um, they wanted to have 12 um, what they called like significant or major lookouts and then four secondary lookouts. Now not all the towers were the same. We're actually probably five manned lookouts. Mount Sheridan, Mount Holmes, uh, the Divide and Pelican Cone in addition to this one. The others were used when needed. Staff would go there during peak time and stay for a week. While much of the park's administrative buildings were built by the Army, civilians took care of the lookout towers. They uh, used the CCC crews that were stationed in the park, uh, which is really a, a neat tie in, I think. Uh, they pre-built these structures in Mammoth, and then uh, the CCC crews then went out and built trails uh, to the top of these mountains, uh, and then moved the, uh, cab the lookout towers to the top of the mountains, which I think is um, quite a feat. Only Mount Washburn remains as a fire lookout today, though some of the buildings do serve other uses. Um, there are still lookout towers um, in some of, um, on some of these peaks, um, but they're more used for as you know, patrol cabins or, um, you know, or as um, kind of historic structures. One lookout tower remains a bit of Yellowstone lore. There's still some question as to whether one was ever built on promontory or not. Mm -hmm. It's in the records but uh, nobody can find any evidence that it was ever built, so we've had them all over the park. So. While they were once all over the park, only Mount Washburn remains as anything more than an old photograph from the park's early years. In Yellowstone National Park, Chet Lehman, MTN News. Also, Mount Washburn, the only fire lookout uh, uh, in the park accessible to the public. It does require a three-mile hike to get there. The trail only accessible in the summer as well. Trail heads found in the uh, Dunraven Pass area, uh, Chittenden Road and Dunraven Pass. I can only imagine how much fun you had doing this, this story. This was a great story. It was really fun to learn that. You know I'm a history buff anyway, and spending yeah. time in the lookout tower at Mount Washburn with Ed Stark. That was interview was shot inside the lookout tower with him. It was a blast. I bet he could tell you stories. Oh man, he's got all some great afternoon. stories too. It was fantastic. Thanks yeah. uh, to the folks in Yellowstone for uh, opening up their archives, letting us use the pictures, and uh, chatting with us about this cool thing. And letting Chet be the ten-year-old self he is again. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> that as well. Yeah. Great story. Very interesting. <laughs> it is time for a quick break. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.